okay so let us start our today's uh, lecture so the first question i have collected uh, and it has been asked in the previous year i think uh, in 2006 probably so the question is explain transition system and transition function with example okay so so to answer this question we'll discuss what is a transition system so basically the behavior of some systems can be represented what we call as states okay and and a system may move from one state to another uh, based on in response to some input stimuli and that is called as transition for example let us take a, the case of an electric switch okay so the switch can be either in off state or it can be in on state okay so the behavior of the switch can be represented as can be categorized into two states that is off state and on state and the on toggling of the switch that is if I if the switch is in the off state and I I put it down then the switch goes to the on state okay and if I put it up while it is in the on state then it becomes off so the switch gets off so 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 uh, I can write that so let us define this so the behavior so I can say that transition systems are specific are some systems whose behavior can be represented as states and the system may move from one state to another based in response to some input stimuli okay input stimuli okay now this this switching of a transition system from one state to another is called as transition it's called as simple as transition and its mathematical representation is called as transition function so what is a transition function then so transition function it's a mathematical representation of a state transition okay so just a second yeah so transition function is a mathematical representation of a state transition okay so let us try to define a transition function mathematically so so in mathematical terms the input stimuli is represented what we call as an alphabet set okay because you have to represent the inputs because because the computer will understand the inputs in terms of some strings and those strings are created from some set of input symbols and and that set is called as alphabet set okay so we have an alphabet set which is Sigma and the system has a set of finite states represented by Q so it is a set of finite states okay then the transition function represented by Delta is nothing but a mapping of Q cross Sigma okay now based on the kind of automata or uh, the kind of transition system the this transition function varies okay 
for example uh, we'll we'll uh, study it in the in few minutes that for a deterministic finite automata the transition function is is a mapping of some state a set of states and input input alphabet set to a set of states q so so i'll explain it through an example so let us try to explain that with an example so suppose we are using a lift okay so the lift has suppose the building has three floors that is ground floor that is zero first floor and the second floor so the switch has three buttons that is zero one and two so so how will you represent the behavior of a lift controller so the lift controller behavior i can say that either the lift so the behavior so the lift lift is a system okay and the behavior of the lift can be categorized as either it it is in ground floor or i can say the lift is in first floor or i can say the lift is in second floor okay now from ground floor if i press one what will happen the lift will go to the first floor similarly from the first floor if i press zero the lift will come back to the ground floor from first in a similar fashion it goes to if i press two it goes to the second floor and from two if i press one it goes to the first floor okay and from ground to two if i press two it will go to the second floor and from second floor if i press zero then it will come back to the ground floor so so this is an example of a, so so this lift can be considered as a transition system okay so what is my input alphabet set here so here first q is the set of states i have already told you so what will be so let let us denote the states ground as s0 the first state as s1 and the second floor state as s2 so q will be the set of states that the lift controller has is s0 s1 and s2 okay and the input alphabet set will consist of what it will consist of 0 1 and 2 okay so how will i write a transition function for this so i can write that when the lift is in s0 that is in the ground floor and i press 1 what will happen so the lift will go to s1 okay and if it is in s0 and i press 2 then it will go to s2 what will happen if i am in ground floor and i will press 0 that means the lift will not move if i will press 0 and i am in s0 that means this represents an empty transition okay so i can say that delta of s0 with 0 is epsilon is nothing okay so in this way we represent the transition functions mathematically so the transitions of a system are represented mathematically as transition functions and the transition function is represented as delta which is which is nothing but a mapping of set of states that constitutes the system into the alphabet set and depending on the kind of automata so so this is a finite automata so it is a it is a deterministic finite automata so i can say that depending on the kind of automata so so from from a set of states and alphabet set i can go to another set of states okay so what will be my final state okay so 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 this answers the answers our first question that is explain transition system and transition function with example okay